Hello and hello again. This is Tibblewinkles, and welcome back to Rakuen. So, on the last episode, we met Morizola, and also I believe we uh, cleared off a lot of the uh, bad rooms. In fact, I think we unlocked a shop. And also, I believe, after giving Sue the a cat's eye marble. There was also another marble I believe I believe sorry I got. So let's see, let's talk to Zoo again and see if we can uh, get another one. Uh, uh, hey there. I brought you something. Give Sue the amber marble. Yes. I really love the, the little stories that Sue has with all these tiny little worlds she collects. Yes. You give the amber marble to Sue. You found a topsy turvy treehouse tea house. Oh, that was a that was a mouthful. A treehouse? Tea house? Yes, that's right. This marble is the color of amber because it's actually a present from a special tree. Inside the tree, there is a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. But that's not even the craziest part. The tea room is upside down. Upside down? Yeah, you can walk on the ceiling. You even drink tea upside down and it doesn't fall out of the cup. Wow. One of my favorite things to do is drink tea with a good friend. My friend didn't really drink tea, but we still did all kinds of stuff together. I used to meet her by this tree, and we'd play for hours. Sometimes she didn't have enough food, so I would share my lunches with her. But we always had a good time. Thanks for reminding me of the good times. That sounded exactly like when we met Sue in Molizora's cave. And it makes me wonder if Molizora's... Because we got this marble way after Sue told us about her sharing lunch with uh, her friend. And it makes me wonder if Molizora is... Molizora's... Um, <clears throat> sorry there. And it makes me wonder if Molizora's... Uh, Forest and Morizor's magic is more than what the than just an imagination. I just can't believe someone would do this. Oh, hello. Can I help you with anything? Uh, what's up? I heard that you created an entire set of armor out of paper. That's quite impressive. Oh. Knowing that Winston is going through this and still trying to put on a smile it says a lot about this person. Did you hear about the thief? Yes, and it appears that he or she has struck again. What did they take this time? Sadly, my wife's wedding band was stolen. I just can't believe they would take something like that. Oh, see you later. Um, I don't think it's right to uh, push uh, Winston into talking about other people. Quit bugging me, kid. I gotta figure out how to fix this wall. Man, they weren't kidding. This draft is chilly. What do you want to do? Offer a peanut choo-choo? Oh man, you don't know how badly I was craving one of these. I love peanut choo-choos. I guess I can go take a fiver to eat this. I need to regain my energy if I'm gonna be doing construction work. Thanks a lot, kid. Oh, oh. I think I might have something that, that would, um... That would, uh, help with this artist. Oh, what did I... What voice did I give you? Um, I guess I have to come up with something right now. Hey there. Oh, I thought I thought I had something for for her. Um, did you hear about the thief, dude? Yeah, Chef Panky came out 
here earlier, and he was not happy. Uh, I think. Oh, okay. This is. This is um. It's exactly the same. I do have a plush. I. It's a plush in my item. I got a Golem Child doll and a Glenda Frog. I'm not sure where I put it. I think I'll uh, check it out. I just have to remind myself that there is that. First of all, let's give the um, Axe Boy. Oh, what a pretty ring! Ema? Oops, time for me to run! Ema! Oh. Oh. The boy is not happy. What the heck, Tony? Get out of our crops! Stupid labels. I'm just looking for something I lost. I will go wherever I want. Wow, that bear can jump. Can you believe that, Tony? My poor turnips. He's destroying my oh, he's destroying my garden. Someone needs to talk to that bear. He has such a bad attitude. This is the third time this week. I'm starting to get worried. I'd volunteer to talk to him, but Winston up there won't make us a boat to go to Tony's Island. Hey, you guys are new around here. Maybe Winston would be willing to help you out. Yeah, uh, will you talk to him for us? Ask him to make a boat. Winston? You don't know Winston? He's that guy standing over there by the tent. Please talk to him for us. It's a matter of life and death. Well, live and live and dead turnips anyway. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, excuse me, are you Winston? Yes, that's me. I haven't seen you around Molly Zola's forest before. Did you just move in? Uh, no, we're just visitors. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, do you need anything? Uh, can you make us a boat? I'm sorry, but I no longer make boats. Uh, but we want to help you. If you build us a boat, we can sail to that island and try to talk some sense into that bear. You mean Tony? Yeah. You are indeed very brave. And he has been quite troublesome as of late. But I'm sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Do you need anything? Who is Tony? Uh, Tony is a notoriously ill-tempered bear who lives alone on that island. From time to time he'll get really angry and rampage through the village. But to tell you the truth, uh, deep down I don't think he's actually a cruel bear. Uh, do you need any- f oh. Okay, okay, let's get back. Okay. Okay, let's get back here. Uh, why do you live here? My wife, Gemma, has fallen into a coma and has been that way for quite some time. She is currently inside the tent. For the most part, I feel that this area is a bit more peaceful than the bustling village to the west. And I want her to be as comfortable as possible. Okay, never mind. I think that's everything, so that's a half-built, well, a frame of a boat that, to speak. Okay, let's chop this place, chop this place down, chop these bamboo down and see if that leads us back. Sleeping Liebel is now awake, okay, so that leaves us uh, a shortcut to go back. Hmm, what are these? You need something to carry this in before you can catch it. 
Okay, so there were a bunch of these around. Okay, so it seems like we have other places to go. Especially... Hmm. Okay, we need something to help uh, Winston with his wife. And we did see Uma run into that tent, so let's go into there and... Uma! Ah, uh, uh, so we meet again. Why are you stealing again? I kept my promise. I didn't tell anyone you were staying in the hospital. But then you go and steal a lady's wedding ring who's in a coma. What is wrong with you? Uh, you, you don't understand. She asked me to bring it to her. Huh? Uh, what are you talking about? Why are you making things up? No, she really did ask me to bring her wedding ring. And I think she might need your help opening that box over there. Not so you can keep what's inside, mind you, but for Winston. You're not fooling me again, Uma. Now if you will excuse me, I have a wedding ring to deliver. Toodles. It looks like she's fast asleep. There is a tiny envelope here. Open it, yes. Oh. Shall I read this in a libel voice? No, let's do a libel voice. My dearest Gemma, I searched for days and was finally able to retrieve... Oh, oh. Huh. Retrieve your ring. Perhaps once you regain consciousness, you can decide for yourself whether or not you still want to wear it. I also managed to find your box of belongings. I would have opened it and maintained its contents, though I have not found its key. I am so very sorry. Maybe that's Uma. Huh. The chest is locked. Okay. Okay, okay, already read that. So there's the chest, but we need a key. Where's the key? Let's go through here and see where that leads, because, um... I really can't... Winston... Um, oh. Okay, sorry about that. Winston. Winston, is that you? Oh! Uh, Winston? Is somebody there? No. Hello? Why can't anybody hear me? Oh, wait. Interesting. I'm in a completely different area. Let's um, let's check that place first. You have one new message. Please enter your password to listen to your messages. Hmm. I have no idea what the password is yet. Guessing would take forever. What a smart little boy. Open the locker. Yes. The door is rusted shut. And rusted is um. They put some emphasis on rusted. Ah. Uh, that looks like a password. Else pay one. Okay, let's try that. You have one new message. Please enter your password to listen to your messages. Hmm. I have no idea what the password is yet. Guessing would take forever. Huh. Else pay one. Okay. A small green house plant. Hmm. Okay, then what about the phone itself? Okay, nothing. Okay, let's go check this box. 
you can see a hole in the f um, you can see a hole in the floor directly underneath the box. But can I push it? Can I push it? Wait, I need to go and push enter to it, right? Hmm. It's not letting me push it, which is interesting. And okay. So that doesn't work, that also doesn't work. Okay, check this, check that. Okay, I think that's everything. The door is locked. Okay, so where else can I go? Can I go through here? The door is locked. Ha, huh. how about this? A control panel. Else pay one. Pull one. One is on. I think that's it. Fill the sink with water. Yes, let's fill the sink with water. What's this? Glass files. Take one. Yes. You received one glass file. Ooh. The sink is filled with water. Okay, let's leave it open. L's pay. Oh! So it is. It's lever one. Is that. Is that Gemma? Okay, then that's interesting. A crim five. Huh. A crim five. So what's going on here? So it has something to do with five and it starts with an A. Huh. Open the locker, yes. The door is rusted shut. Fill the sink with water, yes. Uh, the sink appears to be a broken. It looks as though something is stuck inside the spout. Try removing it, yes. Oh, uh, you are unable to reach it, so it seems like we need something. A mortar and pestle. A variety of glass containers filled with multicolored liquids. Okay then, it seems like we have a puzzle at hand. And it doesn't seem like I can do anything else here, because it's in incredibly dark and there is actually a lamp here so what happens if I turn it on nice okay then let's have a look let's read this Gemma uh, come home okay so I filled the sink with water I'm not really sure what it does but uh, since I can do it I might as well so there's uh, two containers that are rusted shut. That says Acrim 5 or something. Well, Acrim H5. And I'm hearing footsteps. This place is actually pretty creepy, but here we go. Here's a hole there. Beneath the cracked floor, uh, beneath the cracked floor tile is a vertical pipe that is open at the top. A wooden key sits at the very bottom of the pipe. Take it, yes. The key is just out of reach. Great, okay. Attention, all hospital staff, floor restoration. Still dealing with rust after the flooding? Simply mix together hydrogen peroxide and cream of tartar to create a solution to remove rust from metallic objects. Okay. I open, I got a wrench. What do you want to search? Upper shelf. This shelf contains a variety of different language books. Middle shelf. There are an assortment of workbooks, daily grammar, hangul practice and basic Korean phrases. It seems that someone has placed a key between the two of these, the books. Okay, you found a small cabinet key, nice. Okay, bookshelf cabinet. The cabinet is locked. Never mind. The shelves are lined with several years worth of medical journals. A single piece of, uh, piece of stationary paper has been placed between two of the journals. Read it, yes. My last memory before it was taken from me. My last memory before... Huh. A glass beaker. An old microscope. Hmm. Hmm. Okay then, so I got a key. And I got a a glass beaker or let's have a look. 
a glass vial. So I, I need to do some chemistry. Okay, let's have a look. Fill the sink with water. Da, da, da. Yes. You used the wrench to disassemble the faucet. Ha ha! You found a bookshelf cabinet key. Open the locker. Yes, the door is rusted shut. Okay. So. Now that I got that, maybe that would open the one of the cabinets up here. So let's try that. It says bookshelf cabinet key, so it's here, bookshelf cabinet. You used the bookshelf cabinet key to open the door. You found a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. What do you want to search? Okay, I think that's everything. So I need, um, hmm. I did find the key, so, and I have a different key actually. A small cabinet key. So the small cabinet key can be anywhere. I am going to hazard a guess and say that it's right here. Open the cabinet, yes. You used a small cabinet key to open the cabinet. You found cream of tartar. Okay, cool. So we have cream of grumpy cat. Oh, where's Gemma? That's actually, okay, that, that caught me. That caught me off guard. That, that really, that is actually quite creepy. A variety of glass containers filled with multicolored liquids. A mortar and pestle. Okay, do I do this? Uh, no, no. Okay, I can't do that. I need to find a table to do the mixing with. But where? Okay then, so if I go up here and let's say... Oh. Okay, let's... Um, a glass beaker. Pour the hard... Yes. Yes. Take the solution with us. Okay, cool. So, we have... Do we have any any places that are rusted? No, those are not rusted shut. I know of two cabinets that are rusted shut, so let's go and open those two. So I'm gonna go up here and open the, open the locker. You use the solution to remove the rust. We can now open the locker. You see a piece of paper that appears to have been taken out of someone's journal. The paper is worn, but you can make out a few words. Read it, yes. What done is done. So I found my and is home. Okay then. There's a bunch of highlighted letters and I believe I should have just wrote it all that down and I haven't and this is getting a open the locker yes you can now open the locker what can I find you found an empty bucket empty bucket empty bucket okay hmm Fill the empty bucket with water, okay. I can do that, and I can also do this. Water the plant. A healthy house plant. Haha. -ha. I am actually stuck. I don't know what else I can do. There's a broomstick here. I'm not really sure if I can grab it. And... Hmm. Okay then. So... Let's have a look. What I've done so far is I have only pulled lever one. So what happens if I go pull lever two? Never mind. Okay. Hmm hmm. So lever lever two is on and lever one is off. What happens if both are on? Oh. It just opens the places, so I might as well have them all on then. Okay then, let's see if that works. Maybe if we, uh, leave lever free. Maybe not. Okay, let's open this then. Hmm. Let's do a quick look and check in if everything is 
open. I'll also want to check if I this uh, lever thing is going to do anything to that. Maybe it's still out of reach. You empty the filled bucket into the small pipe and the key floats to the top. You can now reach the wooden gate key. Okay, well. That was totally... I did not know that was the solution. But it turns out that it is. Okay then, awesome. I guess my imagination didn't uh, see it that way. You use the wooden gate key to open the door. Okay, let's have a look. Would you like to jump down? Might as well. The weight of water is preventing you the... Okay. Isn't this bad? Okay, this is pretty bad. Why did I decide to jump down there? Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Okay then, that was a lot of excitement. So I finally figured out what the water uh, bucket of water does and why there were two sinks and how to get that wooden key. And I just jumped down this hole and almost got drowned. So we'll, I guess we'll find our way out of this dreamland place in the next installment. Well anyway, thank you very much for watching. If I did a good job, give us a thumbs up. Any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye.